Is predicting your future infrastructure needs for your private cloud giving you a headache? As your virtual environment continues to grow, how do you know when you'll need to add more hardware? Hi, I'm Laura Giordana, and I'm going to walk you through our capacity planning and forecast feature of Nutanix Cloud Manager to show you how you can answer those very questions. Let's take a look. On our Prism Central dashboard, there will be a cluster runway widget that will show us a list of our clusters and the runway forecast for each. What this is showing us is that our SJC cluster at its current rate of growth will exceed the available memory capacity in 93 days. We can click into the cluster to find out more. We can also get to the capacity planning page by clicking on the menu, operations, planning, and then on the cluster name. Our runway forecast is powered by our machine learning algorithm CrossFit and looks at historical usage and trends for up to a year to predict future growth. This enables you to be proactive about capacity planning and allows you to pay as you grow. Note that planning data will populate after 21 days of data collection and will recalculate every 24 hours after that. So to resolve our runway issue, we can adjust the resources by clicking on Get Started, where we can get a resource recommendation to extend this runway and we can even plan for future workload scenarios. So looking at our current existing workload, we know that our memory runway is running out. So we have a couple of options here. We can add nodes manually, or we can get a recommendation. In this case, I'm going to select recommendation, and we will see that the recommendation engine is recommending to add an additional NX3060 G7 node with 192 gigabytes of memory to meet my needs. Now, what if we're also planning to add a VDI workload in the coming months? On the left-hand side where we see our workloads, I can click on add adjust and add a new workload. I'll go ahead and enter my VDI information. We're going to use Zen Desktop. I'm, I'm planning on having 200 power users using MCS, and I want to deploy this on May 1st. Once I save my workload, the runway will be recalculated based on this new workload. And we can go ahead and click Recommend again, and it will show us now that we'll need to add two nodes with one tebabyte of memory per node. Now that we have our recommendation, we can save this scenario to come back to later, and we can also generate a PDF report that we can share that will outline our need for new hardware. So no more guessing or doing back of the napkin calculations, which can potentially lead to wasting resources by overbuying. You can also combine capacity forecasting with our low-code, no-code automation tool Crossplay to be automatically alerted with a report when your cluster runway levels are approaching certain thresholds. You can try this all out for yourself by taking an AI ops and automation test drive. Just head on over to Nutanix.com slash test drive and click on the AI ops and automation tab. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and check out our other videos to learn more about how Nutanix Cloud Manager for Intelligent Operations can help you manage your IT operations more efficiently. See you in the next video.